Hi, we're Redemption Arc, and I'm Becca Hopkins. And I'm Clements. We're husband and wife, if that wasn't obvious. So, we're kind of, as Redemption Arc, new to the Christian scene. We, um, for several years, played in a band, a kind of indie trip-hop band called Decomposing in Paris. And we kind of put that together um, shortly after we got married. See, when I was 17, and you were 20, I went on a Youth for Christ mission trip to Northern Ireland, and we ended up on the same team. And there was I singing, God loves me, wapa, wahey, God loves you, wapa, wahey. And the short version is, Clements was working the sign desk. Um, Long story short, kind of, within a few months, he was flying over to Kentucky and taking me to my senior prom. <laughs> then, um, then I moved over for university and didn't take any time at all. And we were married and making music together. We studied, um, I studied classical singing after we studied um, some songwriting and music course together. And then we got married and I did my opera thing and then that didn't work out and here we are. That's a really long story, sorry. Um, since we've been married, we've just kind of um, we've been on a journey um, spiritually. We both grew up in Christian homes, but like uh, any good Christian kids, we we were a bit wayward, way, wayward, wayward, wayward in our <laughs> early 20s. Um, and then we started to discover the, 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 go- the true gospel and what the finished work of Christ means in the new covenant and how we are fully accepted and fully redeemed and what it, what it means to really have your identity as a, a child of God. Um, and that couldn't have come soon enough. Um, we tried for a little while to start a family. And um, after going through what so many of us, one in four, do, um, pregnancy loss, um, the best advice I was given was from a pastor, and she said to me, she's like, just keep loving each other. And we did. And um, through that pregnancy, things were a bit weird. Um, things, Nothing kind of set right. I was in and out of hospital, but I couldn't really find anything wrong. Uh, finally, they found that I was placenta previa, and that just means that the placenta is growing over the exit, so um, our daughter was going to have to be delivered by section. I was a little bit nervous about that because the way it can damage the support muscles, but that's okay. That's God was going to do that. He was going to take care of me, and it was going to be fine. Um, we get into the cesarean, and they have to call in a second surgeon because they can't figure out how to get this child out or how this child was actually surviving in my womb. I um, apparently am so riddled with fibroids that there was no place for the placenta to grow except in the previa position, and I should be completely infertile. Um, they did not know how this child had survived. So they get her out, sew me up, and come tell me, please don't attempt to have another child. Um, but we had our miracle. A few days into that, they find that she has a heart murmur. Um, and we take her home with the murmur, and then she starts showing signs of heart failure. At this point, she's about three days old. And um, we go back to the ER, or A&E, and um, they, find, they find that she has four heart defects. She has an ASD, a VSD. Um, at this point, they didn't find the one, the, the major one. Um, and then just an unobtrusive membrane. They put it, they take my, my baby, my miracle, and they put her in a box. Um, and the next thing I know, I'm sitting next to an incubator. I had my baby in my arms, and now she's not. Um, and this whole time, we know that God is, he's given us this miracle. And this is, this is going to become a testimony. And well, here we are. And um, this, our song, Rest in You, was one that we did just sing over and over going, you know, we're going to rest in this because God's going to pull through. Clearly, there's, there's something about this child and the, and the enemy is trying to cut it off and we're not going to let it. Um, we're going to raise our hallelujah and we're going to celebrate this miracle. Um, they're preparing her for heart surgery and they... Um, and so she gets strong enough for the MRI to be prepared for heart surgery. And that's when they find that actually the two holes aren't that big of a deal. She's got, um, so they can't surgically repair her heart. It's actually um, 
diastolic, disfu- diastolic dysfunction in the left ventricle, which me, um, it's like a type of cardiomyopathy. Basically, the muscles don't release. And, but they've been treating that, and at her last visit, they find, she's three now, they find that her heart function when she's healthy is actually completely normal. So, Hallelujah. yeah, so God is just, you know, you know, he says, or Paul says that we should rejoice in tribulation because tribulation brings perseverance and perseverance, character and character, hope. And we know that hope is a, like a divine, confident expectation and good. And we are getting to live that right now. We get to see that every time the enemy comes against us. God brings, he, he receives glory in the situation, and we are built up, and, and we get a chance to minister. Even now, Kara caught a week old on, um, on the flight, and she's been in hospital some of the time we've been here in the States, and we've been declaring healing, and our, our God is a God of healing, and he, and he wants all to be well, because everywhere Jesus went, he healed. And we know Christ is in us, and this new, this generation, this final generation, we're going to see greater works than than the early church did. Um, and we've been going around declaring that since we've been in the states. And we don't have insurance because we're from abroad. <laughs> so we're now declaring that we're going to see God's provision because that's kingdom, isn't it? When you have an abundance, you share, and when you don't, you receive. And that is that's how God does it. That's how the early church did it, and that's how we're to do it now. And it's so exciting to actually. Um, we go fund me going at the minute to kind of help with payment and we're kind of reconnecting with people we haven't talked to in years um and we're being blessed by people and we're able to to turn that back and god's getting glory out of this whole thing whether it's physical healing or whether it's um, monetary support or um it just the more you see him the, the well isn't faith our response to seeing god and as we see him move our faith builds up and faith's a gift I mean, it's all a gift. Mm -hmm. And we just turn it all back to praise. So if you'd like to know where you can find us, it's all the usual places. We're just getting going. So sometimes Alexa gets a little snippy. I was like, who are you talking about? Um, but we're there. <laughs> we're, um, we're a redemption arc. And um, our most recent single was a Christmas one, I Wonder As I Wonder. But our single before that was released in October. It's called I'm Royalty. And you can check it out. And we also have um, an EP that was released in 2021. So mm-hmm. just a little while ago. And it's a bit more corporate worship. And it's uh, Rest in News, the title track from that EP, if you'd like to check it out. So that's Redemption Arc on all the standard platforms. See you there. <laughs>